It's CMC. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's CMC here. Um, I'm gonna be hitting you guys up with a strategy video. Uh, like, right now. Um, or at least attempt to. This should be our, our strategy video right here. So, in this vid, we'll be talking about, like, you know, attacking strategies and other sorts of things. Because we're getting the, we're getting that point in the series. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, never. M yeah, a lot of things have been going on in these woods, and it's definitely that fucking bumblebee. That's really getting to me. can't make a video with, without getting interrupted with that fucking bumblebee. Like, shows up at my freaking front door. Okay, you know what? Hold on. But let's, we're gonna go around this way. I, I'm gonna just have to, you know, cut it from the woods today because I don't even think we can do a woods thing. You know, we did a couple woods videos today and now I'm just getting, you know, it's getting to that point where what the fuck, this bumblebee here. You know? Uh, we did relocate. If you guys didn't, you know, go watch that part of the series, relocating. So, let me talk about pretty much attacking. So, that's where we're going to be attacking our base. And, oh yeah, uh, P.S. I think I figured out how to go first person. Uh, like, a lot, like, you know, with both hands. Anyway, so, we're going to start. This, actually, a good thing we moved our base back there because this right here, this entire area, this is our like fortified wall. Like, that keeps pretty much everything from out there and all around there. So you're always kind of gonna want to do a distraction. So, you distract the enemies with something like a log or a stick. So you kind of throw it, you know, it makes noise over there. So then the enemies would direct their attention over there. You kind of want to be a little bit further. So I'd be down here, grab a stick, Maybe I'd throw it all the way over there, you know, so that I can move over here. Anyone over there, they'd be distracted. Now this pit, though, could have a guard in it. So, I wouldn't want to take that risk, so I'd go around. And I'd pull my sword out, just to make sure, you know. And I kind of come up. No one. You're clear. Now we can focus on moving ahead to the base. So maybe, just one more time, grab a good stick, snap it up, and chuck it. Might You want to go high, so that way they don't see it. Okay? Because if you go low, they'll see it. If you go high, and then it'll land right over there and like this entire area they didn't see it throw it see they don't see it so then you got the distracted one more time remember hi works like a charm so then kind of come in you want to avoid all leaves and everything see like this entire pile you kind of want to avoid that Come up, you can come up in stabbing mode or slicing mode, whichever one. And then you can just demolish everything here. You can kill all the enemies. Whatever you want to call it, you can do it. So that's pretty much your strategy that you'd want to take. Uh, you know, they, you know, you wouldn't really want to come from the open field. For one, they would notice you're there. Second of all, they have a wall. You know, so, uh, I don't know if you guys really noticed, but I don't know if I show this on camera, but you know, I, I added a little bit to the wall, uh, and actually pretty much 
if we're in battle, our equipment will be in in the fort. This is the fort. This is the outside where we would be pretty much fending off any things from the outside. Uh, we got a stone in front and some type of log holding it in the front. This is a little bit falling. You know, we'll, we'll fortify the wall even more as we go on. Uh, I have the wheelbarrow back here for any transportation needs. Uh, I have this ramp so we can get in and get out safely so that way we will not be in the harm of fire because we got this entire piece of wood here this big big piece of wood pause on that though so that would pretty much be your strategy now strategy as a defender that's one big thing pause uh so pretty much your setup as a defender so we have this wall that's going to protect us from arrows sword hitting you know they get their sword out and they, you know, they start hitting it and crap, you know. I mean, yeah, they won't stand forever. But really, the wall is only supposed to be holding back swords. Or, or not swords, arrows. Because your archer is probably one of the most important people in your group. Uh, so is the guardian. I'll talk about the guardian, the archer, uh, later. So our archer would be up here. I took out, uh, you know, the ladder because I'm bringing it in for the day. And then I take it out the next day. Uh, in our case, the archer would be up there. That just fell. And he would be in a little hut. So, you know, we'll, we'll get to that later. He'll be hiding somewhere, right? So no one notices that there's an archer up there. Uh, there can be a motion sensor light and sound. It would be like beep, boop, boop. I don't know. Something. You know, they actually sell that stuff. It's easy, um, it's easy to get a motion sensor light. I don't know about sound. So any movement in this area... When you're in the fort, you know, you're not really paying attention too much to that. Because, you know, you're down here. But if there is any movement, light comes on. And that, uh, and the sound would be for daytime. The light would be for nighttime. So it's a little bit easier. Uh, so that would be pretty much. And then when, you know, when you're in battle, then your archer would be up there. No one would see him. And then he just starts shooting down at people. And one of the best things of all is your stoners. That sounds a little wrong. That sounds like, yeah, no. I mean, you like grab a stone and then you start chucking that boy. <laughs> you start chucking them out there. Then it's like, oh crap. That's just to, you know, tell the enemy, back the fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. That's what it, that tells them. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, end the video here. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about guardians. I'll see you guys in the next one.